Our free game this month is an exercise in greed and violence. In other words, all of the things you're looking for in a game regardless of its cost. In Teagle's Mercenaries, you're literally the boss, base operations squad sergeant in charge of a group of six soldiers for hire somewhere around the turn of the 21st century. Your boss is General Teagle, who's not the sort of person who accepts failure lightly. He pays well, but if the mission he assigned you should go awry, your best bet is to find another galaxy to work in as quickly as possible. After the general gently informs you of your destination, you move to the roster screen where you choose your six squad members from a pool of 20 candidates. The first screen gives you the potential mercenary's name and vital information. By clicking on the statistics line, you get more detailed information on the mercenary's strengths and weaknesses. As you cycle the menu, you get a numerical rating in a number of different areas. To choose a mercenary, simply click on the recruit line. Once you've filled your squad, click on deploy, which sends you on the way to your first mission. As the boss, your perspective in this game is an overhead view of the area where your squad is deployed. By clicking on this green bar, you'll call up the overhead map, which gives you a view of everyone in the mission site. By clicking this red bar, you bring up the Game Options screen, which allows you to save the game, change some of your options, or return to the main menu. In this particular scenario, we have ICE leading the troops. Click on ICE to bring up the command window, which is where you'll be issuing orders to your troops. To find out exactly what the good general wants in this particular mission, click on, you guessed it, Mission, where we find that we're to protect the ambassador and kill Sprog, Zeolat, and Julu. To find our three targets, we return to the overhead map and discover that Zeolat was in a room on the other end of the space station, Sprog was in a room above our ship in the center of the station, while Julu was within easy range to our right. Since Julu was closest, we made him the first target. To move Ice, click on her to open the command window and tell her to move to. A word of warning here, the interface has an extra step where it seems to seek reassurance from you that you really wanted to carry out an order. When the command window pops back up, simply click Done and it does what you want it to do. Once you return to the space station, there's a square where your mouse arrow used to be. Move the square where you want your mercenary to go and click the mouse. Don't worry about your other mercenaries since they automatically follow the first person out of your ship unless you instruct them not to. To attack an enemy, call up the command window, select attack, and choose your weapon. Make sure that this line reads engaging enemy which will instruct your soldier to shoot any enemy that comes within range. If you leave it on ignoring enemy, you'll run out of soldiers in a hurry. This mission ended in a hurry as ICE killed Jalu without any problems. Simply send your remaining soldiers to take out the other two targets. Before you leave, be sure and instruct your troops to search the corpses, as gruesome as that may sound. You pick up valuable weapons and information that way. Once you've accomplished your objectives, press P and click the mouse, which will give you a summary of your mission. Then you'll return to kindly General Teagle and quickly be off to your next destination. Thank you.